Hello everyone, this is Jeff and I am coming to you with yet another arcade video. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, this is my uh, cocktail machine, which I have, as you can see, the arcade SD board running and uh, scrolling through the variety of games. Uh, I think 92 in all is the last count. But now there is four more games that we can add. Uh, there's finally an update for it. We're really excited about it. All of us that have the Arcade SD, I've seen a few other people out there talking about it. But I'm just going to document um, how I actually update this card. So this is just to show you and introduce what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and open up the cocktail machine and I'll show you where the card sits and then I'll just pull out the SD card and we'll go from there. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Uh, don't laugh at the inside of my cocktail machine. It's kind of uh, just in pieces at the moment. Not really in pieces, but you'll see here in a second. Uh, right there's the power supply, and I um, this the guy I got it from had he really did a nice job. He used these little conduits and uh, had it all strapped in here, all the cables and everything. And I've ripped it all out just to um, get to know what's what, and then I ended up um, just tracing some things. So. But that's the power supply and um, the speakers right there, and uh, the SD arcade SD board is right there. And you can see I have it plugged in, but it's actually just sitting here. And actually, that is my 16-one board that's actually still mounted to the bottom. Um, so I just kind of have this one sitting in here. But uh, hopefully, you can see that okay. But you'll see right here is the SD card and I'm going to just simply pull that out and then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take it up to my computer and then I'll show you what the next part is be back in a minute alright guys I'm back and I'm going to show you um, basically how to update your SD card for the arcade SD board and uh, so right here I have the arcade SD uh, 1.9 version program and I'm going to open that up and you can see here's the executable uh, there's a PDF game list uh, you know games that are um, able to work with the arcade SD um, you can get the ROMs on at a variety of places um, but you do uh, you know are supposed to have those licensed uh, those ROMs and so this is not about uh, gaining ROMs uh, game ROMs or anything like that this is basically once you get your own ROMs um, you can uh, use this program and I'm just going to show you how to use the program to update your card and, um, and some of the settings and things so because I know a few of you out there have uh, my mini cocktail machines and I have my own obviously here that I'm showing you how to do so I'm gonna go ahead and start this baby up and I'm gonna run the program so what it does is is that uh, it goes out and it finds the SD card, right? So it already knows that I have it as the F, right? So it sees it. It sees my serial number. Um, when you first program it, uh, you first turn it on, um, you know, it'll, it'll look for the serial number of your board. So this is the way um, the board can, can continue to be licensed. So you can see here's the application version is 1.9. Uh, available firmware is 1.9.8 actually and the current one is only 1.8.6 so the first thing we're going to do is is we're going to update the firmware and you have to have an internet connection to do that and you have to have uh, the serial number and everything in there so um, PC application is already updated because um, I just downloaded that so we're going to check the firmware so it goes out and contacts the server and it's downloading the firmware. So the firmware is not very big. Uh, as you can see, it's, I guess, what is it? About 5 megs. Somewhere close to 5 megs. And there we go. Firmware download complete. We're going to say OK. And now we've got available firmware is 1.9.8, current firmware 1.9.8. The um, the first two numbers here it says first two numbers of the application and the firmware do need to be the same just the 1.9 uh, and we're good on that so I'm gonna hit next 
And then this is where, now, this is all in the menu system. This whole thing is in the menu system from the arcade. You don't have to pull the SD card out. But when you're doing things like this, uh, if you want to make any changes, you can do it here. Um, I like, if you want to make bulk game changes, you'll, get, you'll see how you can do that here in a second. And I think that it's a lot easier from this Windows application. But you can see that the cabinet is cocktail. I have it in cocktail mode. You can change it to vertical, horizontal, depending on what you want. Uh, it's in VGA mode. You might end up having it connected to a CGA machine, which I'm actually thinking about testing out on my Galaga machine here eventually, just to see what it looks like. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, you know, coins for credit, you know, all these various things. Um, vertical menu is screenshots. Um, you can have it on icons. I kind of like the screenshots. Gives you a little bit more. Ends up with the marquee up there. And uh, runs in attract mode. I don't want any sound in my attract mode. And um, so I'm going to move on from here. Uh, you can even adjust the volume from this point. And then we're going to do next. So what you're going to see here is um, that it's going out to my ROMs folder that I have. Um, but I need to change that. So I'm going to change that over to the new ROMs folder that I have that actually has the new games in there. And I'm going to find it here. Possibly. I hope. All right. I know where I have it. I just have to get to it. And there's my date. All right. Now, you can see that the new games are Amadar, which is a very cool game. Um, and uh, I have it on my 16.1 board, but I don't have it on this. Asteroids, which is fantastic. By the way, Amadar is in vertical mode. Asteroids is in vertical or horizontal mode, um, which is really cool. And uh, Crazy Climber, which is also in vertical or horizontal, because Asteroids and uh, Crazy Climber were originally horizontal, so he's trans uh, got those working in vertical mode. Uh, Crazy Climber, you actually have to have two joysticks, so you know you have to have the the right setup for that, which I don't know. I'm gonna be, not going to really be able to do much with that at this point. And then um, Donkey Kong Pauline Edition, which is uh, is pretty cool because if uh, he has some the board maker out there, I found he's got uh, Pauline instead of Mario as the player for Donkey Kong, so you get to actually play with Pauline, which is pretty neat. Um, so what we're going to do is is we're just going to select these, right? Select all, and I'm going to add them. So it added those four ROMs. All ROMs okay. Now, what I like to do is actually put them in alphabetic order. So, sorry, this is going to take, oh wait, no, I'm just going to do this. No, because I have it, I kind of have it set up a little differently. Um, now, just hit alphabetical. So, sort by alphabetical. A couple of those I like to change around. See these say DK. I kind of like to move those down to with the Donkey Kongs and then the Pauline edition I'll move that one down as well there we go actually I'll move that one up I think that's the only one I probably have some other ones but I won't do bore you with all that stuff so then we hit next so then here's where you've got Amadar, you can do what, whatever, right? There's various settings that you can do from here. And this is where you can do a lot of different things um, on all these different settings. I mean, it, it's, it's really nice to be able to do it all from here. So obviously I want this enabled in my menu. The game demo, I want it to be the long one. And I've got lives of three, so I am not great at Amadar, and I do like the game, so I'm just going to choose five. And you got bonus levels of 30 and 50. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, and then asteroids. 
We've got game demo along. We get game. So I'm going to go to four just for now because I'm going to, I don't know, just because I like adding lots of lives because I'm not great at all these games. Um, but this gives me more of a chance to, uh, to get warmed up on them. Uh, let's see. Crazy Climber. I'm going to go ahead and add. I don't like to go all the way to six. I think I'll just stick with five. I never really go over more than five. And then my bonus is 30,000, so we'll leave it at that. And then uh, Pauline, DK, Pauline edition. Uh, let's go ahead and crank that up to five. And uh, we'll leave the bonus at 7,000. It's fine. Right? So then all the other ones are all set the way I want them. So you can see Donkey Kong's five and seven. So then I hit next. And then I'm just going to hit update card. And then it's going to update the firmware, and then it's going to update all the ROMs. So it found all the ROMs. And we got finish, right? So that's it. That's all we have to do. So I will pause for now, and then we'll go back and we'll put the SD card in. And if you have any questions on that part, please uh, feel free to ask me, comment, anything. Um, because uh, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't necessarily go over, so, uh, and some tricks of the trade. Anyway, I will be back in a moment. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I put the SD card in, and uh, went ahead and plugged my cocktail machine in, and you can see that it is upgrading the firmware. It's at 97, 98%, and all I did was plug it in, and it automatically updates the firmware. And uh, here we go, upgrade complete. And basically that's it. Look at that. The first one on the list is Amadar. And that is exciting. Uh, so now the four games that he has made uh, available, there's Asteroids, um, to be able to be played on his board um, is Amadar, Asteroids, uh, Crazy Climber, which should be coming up here in a second because this is alphabetical order. I'll go ahead and skip to it. And there's Crazy Climber. Very exciting. And we'll go through to the Donkey Kongs, which is quite a few. And there's Foundry, and there is Donkey Kong Pauline Edition. So you actually get to play with Donkey Kong, as you can see. Uh, or excuse me, play with uh, Pauline, and then you go to save Mario. So it's a switched role thing. Um, but he's, you know, he's added a lot of different... Uh, bug fixes as well which is exciting because uh, I even I even put in a few of them and that he fixed and uh, f quite a few other fixes that other people probably um, told him about but let's uh, let's do a real quick test of a couple of these so here's Amadar we're gonna go ahead and oh, I gotta put a quarter in that's the way we do it on mine we love to put the quarters in so let me put a few in there Okay, so I got four credits. Now I'm not sure if you can hear that, but Amador is a fun game. It's like a maze game, but it's it's not. So I'm gonna do a review on this one actually. It's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of that. You can't let those guys touch you or you die, watch. Okay, so we'll get out of that. And there's asteroids. Player one. Oh, fantastic. I'm excited about asteroids. Okay. Now, Crazy Climber, you got to have uh, two joysticks. I'm just going to see if it works. And it does. This was one of my favorite games as a kid. So, looks like this joystick... I don't think you can do it with one. I don't know. Anyway, there's Crazy Climber. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to build a whole new cabinet for Crazy Climber. And then Donkey Kong Pauline Edition. So, look, as you can see, he's carrying up Mario. And Mario's at the top. And there's Pauline, right there. She's awesome. 
because he's got a little skirt on. Try to make that clearer. And there's Pauline. And uh, there's a lot of cool stuff. I guess uh, you pick up wrench wrenches and tools and stuff. Instead of uh, Mario picking up Pauline's stuff, Pauline picks up Mario's stuff. And that's the other game. So I'm very excited about this. I know this is kind of a long video, but uh, hopefully if anybody is interested in uh, learning about Arcade SD um, updates and uh, just the new one that's out, and you know, hopefully you enjoyed the... Um, the uh, you know, just the, the update that I did and the explanation of it. And if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, uh, please feel free. And I will see you next time. Talk to you later. Bye.